Right, here we are. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even tell you to guess what I'm on. Look, it says Triumph there. Yeah, marvellous. Back at Ling's uh, Ipswich, uh, this time on a motorbike, I rode the first motorbike I rode out of lockdown. Yeah, first person to ride it straight out. I dreamed about it for ages. Then I rode it and I thought, Meh. I couldn't decide, but now I get to ride it again and see what I think. Obviously I've ridden the Triumph uh, Tiger 660, same engine, so I'm expecting decent things from it, to be honest, yeah. Mickey Mouse mirrors, no, but sort of more like Bugs Bunny ears really, if that's flat. Um, and a round clock, marvellous, but we'll see what it looks like. Um, oh, the navigation thing, I don't know what that is. Uh, modes, two rider modes, um, indicators, marvellous, standard Triumph stuff, yeah, excellent, so let's see, oh there's the clock look, the clock's round but it's not round, marvellous, uh, average MPH, time, stuff like that, but, uh, let's see what happens, oh listen to that, isn't that marvellous? Oh yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Oh, gearbox, very smooth. Slipped in there, barely knew it was in. And we're off. So, similar sort of thing really. When we're over this way. Um, so we'll do a little bit of dual carriageway. Um, I think that's what we'll do, and we'll go and do the Suffolk uh, road, uh, road test, yeah. Um, and uh, we'll see how we get on. But uh, we've got to do the senses on it. Just feeling now very, very light and manoeuvrable. Um, I don't feel too cramped. I remember the first time on it. I just felt a little bit too cramped. Uh, need to get that mirror just in a little bit. Marvellous. But the view out the mirrors, uh, pretty good. Yeah, marvellous. Don't even have to move my elbow. Throttle, very responsive. Sound, well, it's a, a triple engine. Cos it sounds nice. Yeah, marvellous. Um, I don't know what category is. When this bike was coming out, I remember looking at it and I thought, oh yeah, I've got to have that. It's like a perfect mix between retro and modern. Um, and then when I saw it in real life, I thought, oh, it's too modern. But then when I look at it again now, and this one's in white, yeah, I'll do a walk around so you can see and everything. Uh, um, Oh, it's already, it's got gear indicator look, as well, marvellous. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do a little walk around, so you can see uh, the full paint job. Um, and, I can tell you something about this bike. Um, they had 25, they had 25 delivered. Do you know how many they've got left? One. Yeah, one in the showroom, that's it, out of 25. It's just gone, like that, puff, up in smoke. So if you want one, you need to be pretty sharpish uh, and get down there and get one. So anyway, obviously it's a naked bike. Brakes, marvellous. No trouble there with the brakes. Um, it's an naked bike, so I'll be interested to see what it's like on the uh, on the dual carriageway, the A12. Yeah, um, I'm expecting quite a wind blast, um, but then I've been surprised with these that have got single clocks. I can feel a bit of turbulence coming around the clock now, um, and sometimes they just give you enough protection. 
Um, it definitely picks up its skirt and goes a bit just at the slightest touch on the throttle. So that's marvellous, isn't it? Yeah. It makes a nice little grumble as it goes. Yeah. That's marvellous. Um, and good news, this corner up here, um, I've said a few times, I hate it. Well, they've gone and resurfaced it. It's marvellous. Just look at it. Brand new tarmac. It's the sort of stuff dreams are made of, isn't it, when you ride a motorbike? Roads like that. If only the whole road was like that. Don't know if the indicators self-indicate. Uh, not self-indicate, <laughs> self-cancel. It'd be amazing if the self-indicated. Well, I'm assuming you can still hear me, but here we are at 70 miles an hour, and the wind isn't too bad, just like on the Bonneville really, no different at all maybe even a bit lighter but the bike just sits nice and steady yeah uh, even one-handed it's absolutely fine can re ride it really relaxed yeah um, and it, it's uh, you're barely on the throttle at 70 miles an hour go yeah, well you can see it says 5,000 revs, 5,000 revs, 6 gear, there or thereabouts, doesn't seem to move much, maybe 5,100, I don't know, roughly something like that. Um, I was going to pop around this van but uh, that car came along. I'll see if he gives me enough room and then I might still do it. Yeah. There we go. Marvellous. So, I'm going to do the Suffolk road test first. Yeah, I know. I'm mixing it all up. It's the heat. It's got to me. Yeah. So, that's my plan. I might get lost doing it backwards. I don't know. Highway maintenance. I don't know what he's doing. What's he doing? is indicating it doesn't mean it uh, handling sweet as a nut yeah I mean most people if you were interested in this you've probably been and tried it already and rode it so this is for people who haven't really um, uh, yeah because I mean the bike's been out I don't know 18 months something like that um, that first lockdown when uh, the shops reopened after the first bout, should we say. Um, so I don't know when that was, I can't remember. <laughs> Marvellous. So, yeah, so we'll nip down here. It is a marvellous Scotchy old day again. Don't know if you've noticed that with the weather and stuff. <laughs> and see how it deals with the bumps and stuff because this road um, it really is quite bouncy um, I think we're restricted by speed for quite a bit of it but some of it we're not so that's marvellous isn't it yeah I can just feel uh, suspension on some dips we did then just pop up button him, button him out a bit but I think there is some adjustment on it you know what we got going on here marvellous some learners learning the ropes um, but no this isn't too bad at all um, I've ridden a lot harsher on the suspension and the price of this, uh, it's uh, seven and a half thousand pounds, which isn't expensive, is it really, for Triumph in Triumph World? 
Uh, that's uh, that. In fact, it's got to be the cheapest bike they do. Yeah. So um, this bike is just dead standard. Yeah. Um, it's a bike that likes to be revved. Is what I would say. There's a picnic site down there. Marvelous. I'll have to try that with uh, Mrs. Olio Motorcyclist. Yeah, she might like that. She likes a picnic. Um, as long as it's got the right sort of stuff contained within the picnic. Yeah, marvellous. Oh dear, for two miles. Oh dear, oh dear. Then we're into Levington so soon. There's a move on that bumpy corner there. They just took it steady. It just bounced round. Absolutely no trouble at all. I mean, these bikes have also been out long enough for lots of extras to be about. Ah, oh, doggy. Yeah. That dog wants to go. Look at that. Did you see that dog? He definitely wanted to go on this bike. Marvellous. I never trust the owners with dogs like that. You never know. They might just let go and then all of a sudden you've been robbed. The dog's disappearing down the road on the bike. <laughs> yeah, marvellous. Isn't it funny though as well how you can ride a road and if you only ever do it one way when you go back the opposite way you just don't know it it's like a completely different road <laughs> marvellous pub round this corner though is there no you see oh yes there is i was right and now we're on to the really bumpy stuff down here so this is where the t real test begins just steady on there I was lost then when I saw those gates. Oh, I just turned so easy. It's so nimble and the brakes so sharp and the engine forgiving. It's very actually very easy to get the speed up and down. You know, it stays balanced, it doesn't squirm. Um, and maybe the suspension is set just about right for everything if you know what I mean it's not going to be perfect on some parts um, but it'll be more perfect on others but it's okay that is quite <laughs> pumpy down here but it it just rides it no trouble at all really um, and because it's so light it's not tiring. So, you know what's next? You know, that's a good warm-up, isn't it, for this one? And hopefully you've seen my other videos down here. Yeah, this road is as bumpy as hell. They don't come much bumpier than this. Um, Ah, it's just it's not too bad at all. You know, we're doing almost 30 miles an hour. You come down here in a car, you struggle to do that. Um, and coming down here with a trailer, <laughs> you forget it. You, you're down to five, 10 miles an hour. Yeah. But there we go, 30 miles an hour, no trouble at all. It's marvelous. Look at this dog. Yeah, he says, I'm with my dad. I'm not leaving my dad. You all right?
So, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. What do you think? Yeah? In white and black, a little bit of red. Yeah? It's not a bad looking motorbike, is it? Really? No wonder they've sold in the numbers they have. It's just phenomenal. Show of forks, Nissan brakes, twin discs at the front. Um, two pots, is it four pots per brake? Yeah, two each side, uh, marvellous. Um, uh, liquid cooled, obviously. Um, nice round headlamp. Can't argue with that. Uh, dinky little indicators. Marvellous. Mickey Mouse mirrors. Square. Brake reservoir. Metal. Not clear plastic like they put on the 1200. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, cable clutch. Marvellous. Dead light. So easy. Like the whole bike itself. Nice and light and easy. Um, on this side. Uh, six speed gearbox. Uh, it's about all there is to say, isn't it? It's quite a quite a splendid looking bike. Dinky little seat. Don't know if Mrs. Olio motorcyclist would like it on the back of that, but she might. I don't know. We'd have to try it. Um, ah, I think that's about it. I want to get back on the road and get going again because it is actually quite a lot of fun to ride and it does ride really well look at this like uh, tail tidy th business here um, that's uh, keeps it nice and clean and the way the, the lights in there look marvellous um, pity they couldn't have put got the indicators on there there's probably some law but they've got to be so far apart or something I don't know uh, and look at this shiny little bit here this shiny bit, yeah, in amongst all the black, all nicely polished. Well, not nicely polished here because it's rained on it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, same engine as the uh, 660. Ah, oh, off they go, sailing, marvellous. Yeah, so we'll get back on the road and see how we go, marvellous. Yeah, there you go. One thing I forgot to mention, no centre stand. I know, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I don't even know if you can get one for it. I suspect they probably do do one for it, but it certainly doesn't come with one as standard. It does come with exceptional handling and power to weight ratio. I mean, this is 80 brake horsepower. I know. It's mad, isn't it? Um, seat height's about uh, 830 millimetres. Something like that. Not sure. Might be less than that. But it's not particularly tall. I don't think, anyway. Um, But I was just thinking about it, and um, and I think it feels like Triumph's equivalent of the Scram, but without any of the off-road capabilities. Yeah, but lots more on-road capability. But you'll also notice that. We're still in the UK and we're still restricted by this 70 miles an hour speed limit, which, you know, do we need more power? I don't know. Um, but we do need to do the senses. So straight out there, um, I'm not going to do the taste test. No. Not even on this, little baby. Um, uh, to touch, uh, it feels really, really nice. It's curvy. It's a nice shape. It really is. It's a nice shape. 
but that's where the confusion for me comes in that all the shapes they don't match the overall appearance because it looks a really tidy bike don't get me wrong I'd go marvellous maybe even bloody marvellous but not beyond that no but to touch and feel it, it's all there which I find really confusing because that's bloody marvellous and beyond yeah so there we've got that um, crossover of the of the of the feel and uh, and and the sight yeah it's really really difficult um, it's not a bad looking motorbike don't get me wrong it isn't but it feels it you know the shapes and curves and that they're just splendiferous and then we get to the sound you know I don't know whether you'll hear it because it is fairly quiet but it's that Triumph triple 660 engine it's an aggressive little monster it really is um, and it sounds lovely it sounds lovely on deacceleration deacceleration is that what I uh, when you decelerate <laughs> and uh, it sounds marvellous when you accelerate so the sound is marvellous bloody marvellous as well could be louder I don't know I haven't looked to see if you could actually get pipes for it but I and again I suspect you probably can um, I don't know whether I, w I would but this has got to be a splendiferous round town bike yeah um, I mean it's a good all-rounder and that's why it's sold isn't it that and the combination of power from a little 660 engine it goes like bilio when you wind it up it really does and it's fairly economical 60 to 70 miles to the gallon depending on how you ride it could do with longer legs in first I think um, but that's just what triples are like and four cylinder bikes are like isn't it always feels like you're revving too much I like a nice smooth slow but that could be my age as well I don't know um, but then we get to the question how does it make me feel well bloody marvellous I've got to say yeah it's up there Um, it makes me feel pretty damn good yeah it's it's a bike you've got to work a little bit but again that's what you have to do with multi-cylinder bikes isn't it you've got to work them um, but when you do work them you get so much back in return yeah I mean, from the get-go, like Bertie, he's um, he's giving from the start. And this this van's just sat there like a don't know what. He's still sat there. Unbelievable. Uh, we'll just pop around this. yeah it's a real fun motorcycle this um, would I have one yeah I probably would have one if as well if I was uh, a few decades younger I'd definitely have one yeah but it makes you the, the engine noise and everything else just makes you want to ride this bike and ride it hard a little bit like I get from Wendy you know I was on about it in that long term review I did on the Kawasaki W800 calf yeah that uh, that's a bike that gets better and better the harder you ride it orange and white Triumph Bonneville then did you see that marvellous 
Um, but this bike is always looking for you to turn the throttle. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. There isn't anything wrong with that. Um, and it is smooth. It is really smooth through all the gears, through acceleration. Um, and it remains sharp. It's an eager beaver. Yeah, an eager beaver. This is what this would be. <laughs> A beaver. It's, it is marvellous um, and I think that's about all I could say really um, good fun bike down the back roads, down the twisties suspension's a little uh, a little firm um, and if you go in a little bit in the dips you might bottom out that back suspension but I suspect you can change that with uh, just an adjustment um, it rides the corners well even the bumpy corners it doesn't get out of shape it stays there and it's just as well it doesn't get out of shape and that it doesn't jar you because I tell you that throttles pretty sensitive and you know if it did get out of shape you'd get whoa 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 if you know what I mean you'd be all over the place could be dangerous but it doesn't do that no um, it's got a round clock that's not a round clock it's a it's actually got a physically round clock but the rev counter is half of it the speedo's digital um, and it's got a lot of information on there it's got a couple of modes rider modes um, uh, rain and road uh, on the t120 that didn't make any never mind no um, so yeah have I enjoyed myself yeah is it better than I thought it was when I first rode it yeah it is it is um, I don't know why that is you know maybe I think sometimes and, and this is my fear with the BSA is we're building it up and building it up it's going to be this it's going to be that that's why I keep saying it's going to be it, it, or putting the brakes on saying it might be rubbish because I don't want to get on it and it not live up to my expectations I mean obviously I want it to live up to my expectations but what if I've built it up too much and that because that's what I did with this bike which is why I wanted to do this review um, because we can do that sometimes can't we we exceed um, what the thing is without us knowing just God, I tried to avoid it but I caught it uh, but yeah marvellous bike marvellous sounding And there's uh, another one, a black one, you see? That's it in black. So there we go. Side stand down. Sounds sweet, doesn't it? Sounds sweet. Uh, let's have one last look at it next to the black one. Yeah. So there's the black watch you like. I like the white. Look at it glisten. It's like metallic. It's marvellous. There's the black one. That's also metallic as well. Yeah, marvellous. Um, but no centre stand. Come on, Triumph. Christ. At least give us the option. Marvellous. Uh, Triumph Trident 660. 80 brake horsepower. Show forks. What more can you say? Uh, handles like a dream um, goes like Bilio an eager beaver yeah bloody marvellous <laughs> <laughs>